we know what HBCU mean to us, and we know that we can play with any, any people in the country, and we're proving that now. We play HBCUs on the map. Yeah, 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 we back live from Manhattan, New York, cross street from Madison Square Garden. We out here, a part of the TBT tournament. Got my mans, Jermaine, Mano. Hey, bro, holla at him, man. You had a big game last night. Just let him know where you're from, how you feeling, coming off of the game, and then we're going to get into it. Uh, I'm from Newport News, Virginia. Uh, I went to high school at Heritage High School. I played at Hampton University. 757, stand up, two up, two down. For sure, for sure. And, yeah, like I mentioned, man, the guys got a big win last night. Hey, shout out to that boy Streets hitting a big shot in the corner. Y'all boys had a great celebration. You know what I mean? Great, great uh, showing versus um, Team Skip to my Lou. How you feeling coming off the game last night? Uh, I'm feeling great. Lee, that's my big brother. We played in we played in college together. So. Shout out to Malik Trent. Yeah, shout out to my guy Lee. That was a big game, and it was a good way to beat them. And that was a team that I actually was, was on before I decided to come to HBCU, so. It was it was even better beating that team. Yeah, absolutely. And um, you know, I was there at the game, watching the energy of the crowd. You know, you guys got a big game tonight. You know, the state as, as the states grow, the crowd's gonna grow, the energy gonna grow. Um, what are you looking forward to tonight? Um, before we head out there tonight. Um, I'm looking forward to us playing hard. Um, we we playing the one seed, so they they looking at us like the underdog. So we taking the underdog mentality, and we gonna come in there and do us, and we hopefully get the win. For sure, for sure. And who exactly was y'all lined up with again? Um, YGC. YG, yeah. Marvel okay. Smart Team. And absolutely, absolutely. So you already know how they, you know, defensive minded, all of that good stuff. Let's get into your story, though. What led up to you having the HBC United opportunity? Um, before we get there, shout out to ENJ for, you know, showing love to the Risky Powerhouse, um, coming through with, you know what I mean, the uh, VSOP bottles. Um, I appreciate that love. Hopefully, we can make some noise in the future. Um, yeah, but getting back to Heritage High School, Newport News, downtown, how was your upbringing? You know, how, wh wh who gave you the ball? When did you, you know, figure out that ball was for you? Um, I probably figured out ball was for me around, I want to say eight or nine. Yeah. I stopped playing football quick. Where I got hit one time playing football, I said, yeah, this, this ain't for me, like, no more. Like, yeah. And my whole family came from football, so it was different. So my dad knew a little bit about basketball, but he was really a football player, but I want to say when I got to about ninth, 10th grade, I met Brian Grace. He was my JV coach when I was in the 8th grade, actually. So I met him in 8th grade, and he really put the ball in my hands, and we went rolling from there. Absolutely, absolutely. So, obviously, um, the longer you go, you know, the, the faster you grow. Um, the more work you put in and all that stuff, um, it starts to compound. So, as you was getting into your high school years, uh, when did the opportunities start to come in, and how did colleges start going about recruiting you, or were you like overlooked or did you have a lot of opportunities how was that process for you um the process was pretty it was pretty smooth because i had the hampton offer in eighth grade that they offered me when i was in middle school so and then going into my senior year i had like three four schools that i, I knew was going to be my top three yeah but i mean the, the you mind mentioning those schools i had jmu hampton and then um vmi was was okay. my top three at that time yeah. and i just chose hampton absolutely so going to Hampton, you know, you stayed at Hampton for all four years. A lot of guys, you know, transfer here. You might have to go to JUCO and then get your opportunity. You were blessed with a, a stable situation, um, being able to play at Hampton all four years of eligibility without. Did you uh, redshirt any years or anything? Straight, straight, four straight four years. Four years. And that's you know that's a blessing to have that stability. So yeah. how was your experience at Hampton overall? Uh, I mean, it was a great experience. I came in there and. Uh, the coaches let me rock day one, so I mean, my freshman year I averaged 16. And that coach that coached me, JV, he ended up coming and being the head assistant at Hampton. Yeah. My freshman year, he brought me to Hampton with him, so it was a great experience. At Hampton, it was, it was cool, it was fun. I won. We lost some games, but I, I won a lot, and I went there with a coach that accepted me for me. So you got a big chunk, man, coming to Hampton, averaging 16 your first year, like you said, getting started immediately. Um, my man's number 27 all-time NCAA scoring, number one all-time in the state of Virginia, number one all-time at the University. I would ask you how that feel, but that's just like when you turn 21, people are like, how you feel turning 21? I mean, I feel the same as I felt yesterday, you know what I mean? But I want to ask you more about the lows. Um, in, in that glory, you know, we see the end goal, but we don't see the days 
that stack up to get there. So, yeah. what were some of your lowest moments where you might have been discouraged? You, I'm not. I'm sure you probably never wanted to necessarily quit or give up completely. But what were the low moments like to prepare you for those high moments? Uh, I want to say my first two years of high school because I didn't play. My my first two years, I got hurt. We had a good high school team, so it was it was tough. So. My first two years, I started, but I got hurt both years, maybe two games in. So I didn't, I didn't play basketball my first two years of high school. So I kind of started on a, a back burner in high school, and I kind of, my junior year, I moved to North Carolina, went to a prep school out there for one year, came back, my senior year at Heritage, I averaged 35, and then my name kind of got back up there, and then from there it was just keep grinding, keep grinding, and just kept yeah. going up. Absolutely, 35. 35. <laughs> Bro, bro. For real. <laughs> bro, that's how you do it, bro. Honestly, cause you know you had to do something big, you know, some um, astounding to you know get to the point where a guy that maybe averaged 16, 17, 13, 14 consistently all the way through, you know, he'll get looks off of the consistency, showing what he can do. They know yeah. what he brings to the table per, per se. But having those two years off, kind of. You know, even if you are good, it's gonna have people like, hmm, I might not. Yeah. You know, so you had to do something amazing, bro. Thirty-five. That's that's huge, bro. It's not a lot of people that even average twenty-five yeah. in high school for their senior year. So, uh, big congrats to you, big shout out to you. How did the um, HBC United thing come about? Um, Diesel hit me up. Uh, shout out to Stephen Willie and Vital Pivots. Shout out to my boy Diesel. Uh, he hit me up uh, maybe two days before they was leaving to go. I, would ju I just left the, uh, the NBA HBCU uh, invite camp. Mm -hmm. So I came straight from the camp, came back to Virginia because I'm from Virginia. So I came back and he called me and was like, hey, is, are you rocking with anybody in the TBT? And I was like, yeah, I'm supposed to, but, you know, if the HBCU team wanted want me to rock and I knew most of the guys, I was like, I'm going to rock with y'all. I came from HBCU. I understand. I know the story behind the HBCU. Yeah. He called me and was like, hey, you want to rock? This, we got a team here. We all gelling. I came here and it's like a family. Everybody liked each other, even though a couple of years ago we was enemies. We, we was going against each other, but everybody is a brother. There. Absolutely, and had a, uh, a few previous interviews, you know, guys uh, detailing the actual intensity and the mentality going into the training camp. From your perspective, uh, what was the mentality like? How was the, um, the grind, the work, you know, the intensity? And what was the main message that you received coming into the TBT as HBC United? Uh, I'm, the main message for me was just going hard. That's what was really what Coach Jones was saying. Go hard, go hard. We gotta. We we know you, they know the story of a HBC. You went to a HBC. We overlooked and everything. Like we don't got the resources, all the stuff that they got. So we we know what we gotta bring to the table to beat these guys or be in the game with these guys. So it's just the mentality that we have, and Coach Jones got that mentality where we're gonna be grit and grind. We're not we don't want nothing handed. So. And that helped everybody on the team and everybody buying in. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the buying in part, uh, I detailed in the last video with Malik Trent. Y'all should go check it out if y'all haven't. It. It's amazing to see guys, you know, take the time out of their day, you know, professional hoopers. These not regular, you know, guys at the community college that are just, you know, sitting at the crib chilling. Yeah. These guys that got time, guys that have different things that they can work on to progress their careers, uh, possibly, and all types of stuff, taking time out to get a training camp in before this. It lets you know the seriousness yeah. and how guys are approaching it. So, you know, going out to Norfolk, um, that's right across the street for you. But there's a couple guys that came from out of state. How was the um, experience at camp? Uh, it was it was cool. It was me. We I had four Hampton guys that went to Hampton with me that played with me. Leak was there. Leak Trent was there. I mean, it was a, it was a great experience. We played in front of all 32 or 30 teams. Uh, a lot of international teams. So it was a great experience. I did my thing. We my team ended up winning the championship too. So. It was a great experience. I had fun. Absolutely. Count, hey, Count, Count can't go far, man, because of the connections. People don't yeah. realize the, the communication, you know, the, the network that yeah. you have in y'all field, particularly uh, with the powerhouse, like I mentioned off cam. Um, you know, I grew as much as I could off of my personal following, but that was only going to take me so far if I wanted to step into the hoop world, um, being that I wasn't a basketball player, guys like yourself. You know, guys like the rooms that be in those camps, you know, full of guys from trainers to media to journalists executive. to executive, everything, every, everything that comes together to make basketball happen, you know, are in those rooms. And, and, you know, those are the types of rooms that end me up, that put me in situations like where we at right now, you yeah. feel me? So I appreciate you coming through. For sure, I ain't gonna hold you long. Dudes gotta go get their first jerseys. Bro, y'all had a uniform yesterday, Bad. better have a different joint today. 
So I'm sure y'all, I'm sure, you know, the ceiling is high for where, where HBC United going. I seen how y'all played yesterday. Defense first. Guys wasn't even really stressing too much on yeah. buckets. It was all, yeah, was ah, ah, yeah. three, 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 three. Step, yeah. on, step on, step on, step on, step on. You was really paying attention. Bro, I was paying yeah. attention. Bro, I watched basketball. I yeah. watched all 32. I watched, yeah. we, from the, we from the we career, from the bro. Career. No, yeah. no team in Virginia, you know, so. We all gravitate to players first, but yeah. as like, you get older, you start enjoying the game. Now, I sit back. On the day of the Super Bowl, it was one NBA game that day, the Orlando Magic and the Detroit Pistons. I always tell this story. I ain't watched the Super Bowl, bro. I, I watched Sadiq Bay get 50 yeah. that day. You know, won't nobody watching the game, but I watched Sadiq get 50. So, yeah. shout out to Sadiq Bay getting 50 on Super Bowl day when ain't nobody watching. <laughs> you was, was in Vegas. You, I seen you at the casino. But, but word, though, like... I'm, I'm a hoop, I, but that's what I like to do. I'm so, like, if I had the amount I had in high school, like, I would have hooped. Yeah. But, but what really restricted me from hooping was just nobody to usher me into it, really. Yeah. I had a choice. I always had a choice. So if I ain't had a pair of shoes, it was easy for me to be like, oh, I don't got the shoes. I ain't going to go and wear my only good shoes. Yeah. You feel me? But if I had somebody to be like, long hoops is this or that, you know, you you would have been in that. Yeah. But it was that same. brotherhood, one of them brothers would have gave you a pair of their shoes. You see what I'm saying? But, but that's how band was. Band, all you need is a ten dollar pair of sticks. Yeah, you come with your sticks, you're good. In. So I was in the band. It was a little easier. School. It was way easier. You feel me? So that's what I did from middle school, high school, college scholarship all the way through, and even to this day, uh, I teach over at Southeast Raleigh Magnet, and I teach their percussion section over there. So that's what's been carrying me. You feel me? So, yeah. As well as getting into the hoop world, just off of this, what I like to talk about bro yeah. socially you know what i mean so once again bro i appreciate you for coming on you, shout man. out to enj man for blessing us man with some of the fresh vsop yes, uh blue bottles man i appreciate that love shout out to chick-fil-a shout out to the tbt shout out to hbc united got my man jermaine morrow in the building hey y'all check us out on the next time man it's the risky powerhouse we out of here yes sir that's tough right there man. quick we know what HBCU mean to us, and we know that we can play with any, any people in the country, and we've proven that now. We play HBCUs on the map.